Well, hello, YouTubers. On this beautiful Wednesday, October day, hard to believe, in a couple of months we're going to be uh, turning cold and it'll be snowing, so I'll be back into my itty-bitty little garage. But uh, today I wanted to show you how uh, to check for vacuum leaks. Now, I did some work on the engine, and just like any other mechanic will tell you sometimes when you're working on vehicles you knock uh, vacuum lines off you uh, often uh, break things and you don't see it until it's too late um, I've got a couple of vacuum leaks I don't know where they're at but I can hear them I want to show you a easy way to find them with using a little bit of carburetor spray and uh, make sure you have a tip on the end of it because it makes a, a nice a way to kind of uh, point right in the area you want to be because if you don't use that tip it just sprays all over the place and you're going to waste your uh, carburetor fluid so uh we'll go ahead and start this up now what i'm looking for is uh as i spray this i want to see if there's a change in the engine rpm and sometimes it has stalled a few times and the other thing is i don't have a check engine light so it's really hard sometimes to diagnose these um vacuum line leaks and sometimes uh, when you're in here, um, if you're just looking for vacuum lines, you also you have to spray around the intake and so forth because you could have intakes, um, intake gaskets that get bad on a lot of these vehicles as they get older. So it's, it's basically a, a guessing game. You just got to start somewhere and just start spraying away. Now, I like to start up here around the intake because um, all the air that goes into your engine, it is a closed system. The only air that should be coming into your engine is through the uh, intake here, through the air filter, and through the throttle body. And that's what your performance uh, turns out, uh, ends up being as it goes to the engine. Your computer manages the gas and uh, air and makes your car run. Any other air coming in through vacuum lines, intake gaskets, or anything like that, it's going to cause a mixture issue and your computer's going to see it and it ain't going to like that. It's going to run like crap. Now, often it won't throw a check engine light, uh, won't put a check engine light on, but in, in some extreme cases it will if you have too much. It'll just throw the um, O2 sensor light on, and you'll get a PO, uh, I believe it's a 431 or 430 on a lot of vehicles, and then it becomes a guessing game. But if you have that and you have any stalling issues, you might want to check for vacuum leaks first. And sometimes you can hear them, but you just don't know where they're at. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start this car up and spray this. I'm going to try to make this one continuous video here on my cell phone today because a lot of times it's kind of hard to edit this stuff. So let me go in here. We'll crank this car over. Starts starts right up. Like I said, I don't have any check engine lights on, but I hear the hissing and I'm not sure where it's coming from. So I like to start up here around the intake. We'll just start spraying away. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. No change in the RPM. Oh, nah, I think I, I just heard a little change there. Me. I think I just found one. I hear it. Sometimes you got to put your hand down there. It sounds like it's down there in the bottom. No? I hear it, but I don't see it. Let me spray some more fluid down there. Do it around the intake. Nothing. Oh, I think I found it. Right here around this piece. Oh, it's cracked. I didn't see that. Yep, there's my problem. You can probably hear that hissing. All right. There's one problem. Let me shut it off. Now, a lot of times like this, hoses will rot. And that's what this is dry rotted and it's cracked. So now, my next thing here is to... You're going to have to walk in the garage with me. I'm going to have to get a uh, pair of uh, cutters. And we will just go ahead and uh, cut that. Fix it right, right now. So we don't have to worry about it. And of course, now I can't find what I was looking for. So let me go back out here. I might be able to, uh, I might have to cut, what I'm gonna have to do is cut this off and reestablish that on there. And uh, let me, find me some cutters. All right, wouldn't you know the cutters are right in front of me on the floor in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda 
cut this it's kind of hard to do with one hand and holding the camera we make this nice and clean hoses like the rot the heat and the humidity and the water takes its toll Ain't hey, not bad for one hand huh all right we'll set that off the side and pretty decent cut there we just kind of a little excess there off on the side should be okay there all right all right that should be good all right now I'll stick this back on we'll start it back up all right that's on like I said a lot of times when you work on vehicles um, it's easy to break things and knock things off so let me start this up Oh yeah, I can tell better. I can tell a difference in the idle now. That's a lot better. But I still hear something else somewhere. Now let me get the spray back out. Now this side sounds okay. I don't hear anything over here. Uh, nothing. It's over. It's right over here. So I'll spray around the intake on this side a little bit. This, no difference, no difference. I got a bunch of sensors in the back. Let me check these guys out. Check my EGR valve. They often go bad, but uh, it sounds like I put the can down. I gotta put my hand and ear down in here. I hear some. It's, it's right here. Oh, I think I found it. There it is. Wow, right there. I, why? Now, see, I, I could have never, I would have never seen that if I hadn't had that can. Now, where is the piece? Ah, there it is. It's off. Hey, there we go. Now that took away my hissing. Oh, that sounds better. I had no idea. That's the, uh, this here controls your uh, heating system on the inside, vacuum system. And that took care of the hissing. I still hear a little more hissing, but I don't think. That's probably just the intake sucking in the air. Uh, yeah, I think we got it. Uh, we shut it off and we started. Shut it off. All right, we'll restart it. Boy, that sounds better. I think that's where my leak were. Uh, leak was. See, I can spray there now, and there's no change in the idle. It's sometimes it's very hard to hear the idle a change. Sometimes when you hit the, if you have a big area that's uh, sucking in a lot of air, uh, when you spray this, sometimes it'll just shut the engine down. That's all. Of it. That's usually an obvious good sign. <laughs> Let me check. Check the PVC valve because this here it sucks a lot of air. You got to make sure that's working good. All right, nothing. Yeah, see, I can spray that there now. There's no engine change. Great. I think we just fixed our problem. So that's how you uh, check for vacuum leaks with a can, and make sure you don't spray this in one area too long because of buildup. You could get a little bit of a fire going. You don't want to do that. You just want enough there to kind of uh, choke the air off. To get the mixture a little bit different so the engine will start to idle either faster or a little slower that'll determine the area that you have uh, probably a vacuum leak all right well i hope that helps everybody out uh, that's basically how i do it uh, if you want to do it do it basically the same way and uh, just be patient at it and uh, take your time and uh, try to do it when your engine is cold um, unless the uh, stalling happens when the engine is warm but if you have a vacuum leak, it really doesn't matter if the engine is cold or warm. It'll still stall if you're spraying carburetor cleaner into some areas. And um, it's, if it stalls, then you're in the right area, depending on um, the area you're in. A lot of times, the intake gaskets on some of these vehicles are hard to get to. They have this big plenum on top. So, so, di so different cars, you may have to go in here, angle the spray a little bit, and just be patient with it until you uh, get into the area. And one other thing you can do is get a hose. Walk back in my garage real quick. Yeah, I'm a uh, car. When you have a garage, you uh, basically know where everything is. 
you can come in here at night take a hose I just have a regular hose like this and a lot of times if you can't get your carburetor sprayed down in parts of the engine just stick your hose down in there like this and hold this up to your ear and listen and I have found a lot of vacuum leaks like this when you can't get into certain areas so even an old garden hose like this works out pretty good all right uh, there you go guys uh, and gals and it looks like I got a little friend there a little butterfly you better be heading south buddy it is going to be turning cold soon I guess I go to Mexico or somewhere way down there all right uh, that's the end of the video guys thanks for watching and uh, be careful with that spray and uh, hopefully you'll find your vacuum leak later